Stranger Things, scenes that are a must-see. The award-winning Netflix original series, Strange Things, is easily one of the most critically acclaimed and adored shows today. From one-of-a-kind plot lines to unique characters, there's almost nothing we don't love about the show. But with three seasons and 25 episodes, there are some scenes and moments that have stuck with fans and viewers. In today's video, let's take a look at the Stranger Things scenes that are a must-see. Dustin and Susie Along with scary creatures, monsters, and complicated plot twists, the Netflix original series is also known for its heartfelt love stories. From Eleven and Mike to Jonathan and Nancy, there is a bit of romance with terror. But notably one of the most adored love scenes include these characters, and their one-of-a-kind story. Ever since season two, the fan-favorite character. Dustin has been going on and on about his girlfriend, Susie. According to the character, they met back in summer camp, and have been keeping in touch ever since. But what was so interesting about this couple was the fact that fans hadn't seen Susie until the end of season three. This character was so mysterious in nature that even Dustin's friends doubted Susie's existence. But by the end of season three, Susie makes a surprising appearance when she helps out the gang over the radio. Despite living in separate states and thousands of miles apart, Susie and Dustin's love duet became a staple moment in the Netflix show. While fearing for the end of their lives, the young love birds didn't shy away from belting out the lyrics to the never-ending story song over the radio communication. And in that moment of fear, this Stranger Things couple managed to show the audiences a more light-felt moment. Reach the stars, fly a fantasy. Hopper adopts Eleven. The telekinetic Eleven is undeniably one of the most unique characters of the modern generation. The Hawkins lab test experiment went from being a scared and defensive little girl to a compassionate friend, which is why millions across the globe couldn't help but shed a tear when a fellow adored character, Jim Hopper, officially adopted the 14-year-old. When it comes to Hopper and Eleven's relationship, it hasn't always been so smooth. By season two, we saw these Stranger Things characters pull a few strings and make their parent-child dynamic official. With the help of Dr. Sam Owens, Hopper managed to forge Eleven's birth certificate and rewrite himself as her birth father. And that's how Hopper and Eleven became family. But if you think this adoption scene and moment from the show was spectacular, wait until we recall the tear-jerking moment of season three. Hint, hint, it includes Hopper's final letter to Eleven. Congratulations, Pops. Joyce talked to Will. The first season of Stranger Things heavily focused on the mysterious disappearance of the young Will Byers. The 12-year-old seemed to vanish out of nowhere as the whole city tried to solve the mystery. But eventually, it was his mother, Joyce, who got the closest to figuring out the truth. Over the episodes of season one, Joyce becomes convinced that her son is trying to communicate with her. Feeling restless searching for the truth, Joyce decides to use Christmas decorations as a means of communication. Feeling ecstatic about her successful experiment, Joyce is finally able to talk to her vanished son. Not only was Will and Joyce's communication one of the most heartfelt moments of season one, but it's also a staple scene in Stranger Things history. <laughs> Will's body. Speaking of Will Byers, sadly not all scenes in Stranger Things are lighthearted and happy. Because this next moment is definitely one that has stuck with fans across the globe and not in a good way. By the end of season one, viewers saw Will Byers' body be cut open by Jim Hopper. But as it turned out later on, it wasn't actually the young boy's body. In fact, it was a body double that was created by the Hawkins National Laboratory. Made and created as a way to cover up the boy's disappearance, Jim Hopper takes it upon himself to expose this mysterious plan. As a way to confirm his suspicion that the body wasn't actually Will's, the police officer broke into the morgue and cut open the young boy's body. And that's when Hopper's theory was confirmed. And so, while it may not have been Will, just seeing the eerily similar looking fake corpse was enough to creep out millions. Hopper's letter. Remember when we warned you about an upcoming tear-jerking moment? Well, get ready to shed a tear or two as we go back and remember the scene that revolves around Hopper's final letter to his adoptive daughter, Eleven. By the end of season three, viewers and fans saw how one of the best characters of Stranger Things selflessly sacrificed himself for the greater good. During the season finale, 
we witnessed Hopper go against the giant explosion that demolished everything in the surrounding area. But before Hopper made his difficult decision, he made sure to say his final words to his teenage adoptive daughter. If seeing the unexpected explosion wasn't enough for die-hard viewers, Stranger Things also showed us this next moment that will forever live in our brain and memory. And that's the scene that involved Eleven reading Hopper's letter and crying hysterically as she realizes what is about to happen. For the sake of your poor old dad, keep the door open three inches. <laughs> But did you know this emotional and memorable scene wasn't actually scripted? Well, it was, but not in a way you may think. Because according to actress Millie Bobby Brown, she read the letter for the first time on camera. The British actress later opened up to online publications in interviews, where she stated her tears were real. Talking about her special bond with actor David Harbour, here is what Millie had to share about the memorable scene. They had pre-recorded David Harbour, and they played it out loud. I didn't want to read that speech. I didn't want to hear about it. I didn't want to rehearse it. I just immediately wanted to put a camera on me and find the way I react and the way I reacted was pure devastation and sadness, and a distraught child that just lost her father or so she thinks. So it was definitely a raw emotion, especially because David Harbour and I are really close. He is just one of the greatest men. I think something I admire about David is he respects girls and women so much. It felt so. I'm so gutted and I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. So the emotions were raw in that scene for sure. Eleven and Billy. And the last must-watch scene of the show is when Eleven goes head-to-head -head with the possessed Billy in season 3. When it comes to this iconic premise, it's safe to say Billy and Eleven's fight is very memorable in nature. Not only are the Hawkins, Indiana kids forced to battle the possessed Billy, but the anti-hero then goes on to break down Eleven as she utilizes her powers to the max. And that's when we saw the telekinetic hero use all of her powers to throw Billy through the concrete wall of the pool house. Tired of having to utilize all of her abilities, Eleven drops and collapses into Mike's arms. Not only was this scene very emotional for the viewers and fans, but for the cast and crew as well, because there is one little detail that makes this scene even more iconic and unique. When speaking to TV Insider, the executive producer and one of the directors of the show, Sean Levy, opened up about the behind-the-scenes facts about this particular episode. According to the director, Eleven dropping into Mike's arms wasn't written into the script. As confirmed by Levy, the entire filming and shooting process was so demanding and heavy that by the end of the day, actress Millie Bobby Brown was experiencing exhaustion. The director shared, We spent darn near four entire days, 10 to 12 hours each inside a tiny stage that Jim, sauna, set was not one inch bigger than the real thing. We had six actors and another hundred crew members. It was tight. It was hot. We probably did well over a hundred plus different angles to tell that story right. I shot the entire sequence with two handheld cameras for maximum energy and messiness. Millie and Dacker, two of our most powerful actors, came ready to crush it. So the intensity level was really high. At the end when Eleven collapses, exhausted, into boyfriend, Mike's, Finn Wolford arms that was real exhaustion. <laughs> Who could have guessed that this memorable and must-see scene also included a very special and unique behind-the-scenes fact? But what do you think? Which must-see moment and scene in Stranger Things is your favorite? Are you excited for season 4? We would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, make sure you hit the like button below the video. And if you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our very exciting videos. Goodbye everyone.